Welcome to another video. I know you guys see something a little awkward about this. What is happening? I got my boy Lojo and I got my boy Norm. <laughs> oh, my and guess oh, what? Oh god. <laughs> That's what I gotta deal with, guys. We're at Walmart today. Walmart! If you guys are wondering why we're at Walmart, I'm actually getting them to pick out some lures for me that I'm gonna go catch some big bass on. So I'm excited about that. Let me go ahead and share the rules with you guys. But if you guys have not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, be sure to hit the like button. Comment below what you guys think about the videos and check out my boys channels. So boys, wake up. Hey, come on. Hey, hey I'm awake. So this is what we're doing. I want you guys to pick me out five lures. Simple as that. Five each or five separate? No, no, five or separate. Five, wait, so, so, wait, so seriously, taking? five together or five separate? Was, five together. So, so any so lures. Choose out 2.5. But don't kill me, bro. Like 2.5, you know, a piece. all you gotta do, choose two a piece. Last one you just rip in half. It's all good from there. We should just do six, shouldn't we? No, let's do four. Let's do four. We're doing four. Four and a half. Four and a half. 2.25. That's cool, man. That's cool. Let's do four lures. So what are what are you guys thinking today? That is not a good face, Lojo. What does that mean? I don't know. You go first. You want what's me to go first? What's the theme? I mean, what's? Yeah. What, it doesn't are like. Or am I allowed to know? I, I might be going to. Uh, I'm going to catch big bass. That's my point. Oh, All right. So small lures is what you want. <laughs> What's, what's nice, nice, Norm. Don't, don't, don't worry, dog. I got you, man. You got me with the small lures yeah. for the big bass. I'm, I'm not gonna be. I'm, <laughs> gonna be I'm joking, guys. Fishing when Norm's got the jokes. All right, so I'm going first. Yep. All right, watch out, Lojo. Oh my God. What is going on here? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why was that stance necessary? So this is what we got here. Hey. <laughs> what is going on here? What is going on here, Lojo? Well, you gotta PM respect the game. Norm hasn't slept. What is this? A sprint? I don't even know what this is, man. But it's shiny. Is it, that is that shines, why you just got? Bite it. I tell you what. <laughs> I'm, I won't do ever do that again. I'm sorry. I haven't decided yet because these just have shiny tails. Um, that that one, that one, that one. That I'm not. Right that right. one looks. I'm not supposed that to definitely be. Definitely looks better. That's here, you guys got to decide. Yeah. That one. No, no, I agree. I, I that like looks. That, that looks right. ten times better. All right. Yeah, so that, for so sure. That's the kicking fam. Okay. Darting um, shad. Kaboom. I've never heard of a darting shad, but I guess that's the first lure for this video. All right, Lojo, it's your turn. Norm just went. Whoa. I'm really torn because I'm looking at a lure, but it's not spawning season anymore. And it's supposed to be a really good lure for giant spawning bass. I'm gonna say yay or nay right when you call it. Call it quick, and I gotta say yay or nay quick. What do you yay or nay? What? Like yes or no? I'll say I'll say if I can catch them on it. So just call it out. Yes. Yes. Game over. Game over. See, now I have heard stories. I've never experienced it personally, but people catching big bass with pink worms. I have no idea. I caught a nine last year. Right now. Already lost his bet. Oh my god! Get that net, bro! Is this another personal bet? Oh my Holy sh. Holy sh. <laughs> Holy sh. <laughs> That's about a nine pound. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Ah. Told me these All stories. right. That's cool, man. That's cool. Right there. That's our second lure. We got two more. And a half. Tagging Norm in. All right. I kind of screwed on the line. No, that's probably not. A <laughs> screwed through the drive-thru, dude. Yeah, that's yeah, a little. That's, yeah. All right. That's a little so I kind of gave you a bad lure last time. Actually, it might slow. Who knows? But I'm going to give you an easier one for your second lure here. We're going to go with the spinner bait. But sticking with the crazy colors, we're going to go with the chartreuse here. Oh man. Chartreuse blades. Icy, but spinner baits do catch like massive fish. Come up PB last year. Get the net, get the net. Oh! Yeah, and knowing you, dude, I don't think you'll have a problem with this. Oh yeah. that will catch him. Oh, yeah. that catch him. So you want the small one or the big one? Oh you know what? We'll go. I didn't even know they made bigger ones. Boom. Alright, alright, because you know I'm about to catch the dinosaurs, as dinosaurs. always. Dinosaurs? The dinosaurs are gonna eat that. The dino rhinos. The dino rhinos, yes, baby. Yes, sir. There you go. Third lure. Let's go. All right, Lojo. What do you think for the final lure um, today? You're big bass hunting, so there's a few lures that I know catch big bass, or it seems like they catch big bass on the regular. So just let me. Should I get a norm stance here? Oh gosh. All right. So let's see. 
I don't see any like big, big, big ones, but how about that right there? Uh oh. How about a little 3 8 ounce, very natural, natural color. Joke. Bro. That's uh, for a natural woman. Later. What do you guys think about that? I want to know your opinion in the comment section below. It's got a red hook too, Norm. Tell them about the red hook. Tell lucky. them about the red hook. Red hook's lucky. The red hook's legit. The lucky the red, red hook, hook gives red the hook. appearance of a bleeding animal. Yes. Not just a slow moving meal, but a injured and bleeding animal. But I have, Lojo, I have an important Send question, bro. Like, Send it. So it's got a red hook, but if I rig a crawl on it, what does that go matter? Well, you know, those are the kind of questions that don't even need to be. <laughs> yeah, you're being way too negative. Right? <laughs> you, just, you just gotta roll yeah, with it. And just... So, we had four and a half. Yeah, we never picked the half lure. So, no. I actually have a great idea. Send it. Since the jig is technically two lures because we need a trailer, that can be the half lure. So, pick me out a trailer to fit on this old sexy jig right now. So, if the jig is two, but it counts as a half. It's one and a <laughs> half, my dude. Well, One and a half, because right. you're not going to fish the trailers by themselves. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lojo, the one with this little Christmas box. These are all the same. I'll like dig in and they're all the same. No, I cannot no, take no, you. Different. There's, okay. there's like purple. There's Look, let me see the jig really quick. I got to do matching. That's going to be it right there, Holmes. Natural, yep. natural. You, you ain't wrong on that one. We got the craw fatty. <laughs> and that's going to be paired up with this jig with the red hook that you apparently can't see anyways. But this has like red flake in it. So that'll, that make, that'll make up for yes. the red hook being gone. The red flake will give it that bloody appearance, right? Okay. You ready for this? I get what you're saying. Oh. Oh, I thought you were going to do it. Cut it. All right, ready? Boom. <laughs> so the last oh. and final thing I need you boys to do, show me what you got. What you think about all that? That looks like that look. pretty good. They look like some big bass catching machines right here. Looks pretty good. I'm excited about that, man. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Give me a fist bump on it. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Check them out in the comment section below. I'm going to go do some fishing. So it's actually been a few weeks since they ended up picking out those fishing lures. The fishing's been pretty tough. It's kind of getting in that summer pattern, man. It's, it's getting to where it's, it's a little tough to get these bites. I'm dying to be on the boat. That's the first thing I would like to say. A lot of people are like, Noah, how about you go on the boat? I currently don't have a boat that I can use, okay? I, I'm working on that right now. It's going to be a little process. Just please be patient with me, and then we'll be filming some bangers on the boat. I'm actually planning on launching a huge series this summer if we can get around to it with the boat. It might not be on my boat. It might be on a buddy's boat because I don't know when mine's going to end up getting here. Long story short. Hint, hint. So today we're going to be going to a few places, trying to find some big bass, using the lures that Fishing with Norm and Lojo picked out for me, and hoping that we can hook a giant bass. So let's go ahead and hop on the road and go catch some fish. So I'm actually at a spot I've never been to before. I'm gonna start off with a bubblegum trick worm. Um, I think the spinner bait is gonna be a really great bait today. But, you know, the bubblegum trick worm, we gonna give it a shot. I already had a hook on my rod, so I was like, let's just throw it on there and go from here. We should catch them pretty good on this. This shouldn't be hard, especially with you know summertime. Fish are a little bit slower. We can work this worm a little slow. Give it a shot. I don't even know if there's fish in here, so we're gonna see. Guys, the majority of the fish right now are gonna be out towards the middle, um, out towards those deeper parts on some of that structure on the bottom. And then you're gonna have some fish that are gonna push up on some of this cover up shallow. And that's what I'm trying to target right now with this weightless worm. You know, during the summertime, especially after June and that big full moon and that whole deal after those big fish push, uh, do that one last push, you know, those fish are going to divide. Some are going to come up shallow. Some are going to go out deep. And, you know, we're going to try to play on these shallow fish to see if there's any on some of this cover. When I come to a pond, I try to look around. I see what cover there is up on the bank. This is about it and the fact that there wasn't any fish on it and I can pretty much see in the water. I have my sunglasses on. I'd be able to see if there was any movement, but I didn't see nothing. So the, most of these fish are probably out, you know, on these deeper spots. All right, we got a point. Stop and fish this for a second. Get my worm out there, just kind of let it sit. I'm not gonna move it much. Should have a fish or two pick it up. Point's gonna come out and they're gonna either sit up on it on the flat side which is right here sit up off the end or sit off all on the sides there he is he's not tiny but why did he feel so big when i jacked him wow 
okay that's yeah that's that's a quality fish right there he ain't big but he's quality he felt huge when i jacked him let me tell you just like i was talking about you know off these points they go out the fish are either going to stage right off the end of that point or on the drop-offs on the edge and he was right there off the end of it pretty pretty bass thank you for biting buddy you are definitely a quality one and i'm gonna see if i can catch your friends too that was sweet first fish today is a solid little chunk let's get back out there This is money. I can already tell you that. Yep. <laughs> he ate it like a top water. Yep, this is money. <laughs> he ain't big, man, but that, that was awesome right there. That was just perfect freaking timing. You gotta be careful with these little guys like this. So he's hooked awkwardly. Okay. Nothing big, man. So fun to catch them on that weightless worm, especially when they eat it like a top water like that. I saw this, you know, we had a little bit more wind pushing in. I thought, you know, we could probably get more of a reaction bite with that worm. And that's exactly what happened. I said, this should be, this should be good right here. And that's what happened. See you, Jimmy. Oh yeah. That was sweet. Let's see if there's another one. This should get smacked. We about to cover some water. We about to pull a Noah on the fish right now. I love covering water, just walking and casting. And it is at least 105 out right now. It's so hot. See that? Tell me there's not a big bass in here. Yep, it worked. It worked. Oh gosh. It freaking worked. It's gonna be good. I know exactly. I can catch him on a jig too. Alright, I'm counting that. I don't really care. So listen, I threw this thing out there. I let it hit all the way on the bottom. I was like, I'm gonna see how deep it is out there. And then right when I started slow rolling it, pow. So Lojan and Norman, they pick me out stuff. I totally forgot about this thing. These there's a lot of fish out here chasing bait. I saw this and I was like, man, this might actually kick their butt right here. Oh, look at that. He's, just, oh, he literally put it in his mouth as a, gosh dang it. It wasn't big. You're gonna get smacked just like that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hear that fish pulling? Holy cow, that was awesome. Right when I said we were about to get smacked, he just clobbered it. That is like almost the ugliest thing, but the sexiest thing I've ever seen. There's actually sparkles on it before I put it in the water and they all came off. But man, look at that healthy little bass. Slammed that sucker. Let's go. I ain't stupid fishies. Let's get right up inside of that thing. Let's see. <gasps> I got backlash. Are you kidding? <sighs> I'm probably gonna freaking snap. I gotta be careful of casting this. Holy cow, did you guys see that? I tried flipping it up under those uh, elephant ears right there. Right when I did, man, he, had to, he tried to hit it like a top water. I might be able to catch him. Well, everyone, it's safe to say that I got my ass kicked today. I'm just gonna say it straight up. I'm telling you the last six months, man, I've had some phenomenal days, but today I got my ass handed to me. I, I just can't believe it, man. I, I tried so hard today and to expect, you know, a little bit more than five fish. And this is probably my worst day. And this, this whole year is my worst day. The conditions, super rough, man. They have them, these fish in major lockjaw. I mean major. It didn't really help that I was throwing baits that I usually wouldn't throw. 
Um, that just made it twice as hard. Man, it, it was a grinder today. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I apologize, man. I apologize. I'm used to uploading some bangers for you guys. I still think this was a fun video to show that not every single time you go out fishing that you're going to catch fish. So if you guys have been enjoying the content, hit the like button. Comment below some video suggestions. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.